Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is brought to you by I Love Canna. Scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the welterweight division. And once the action begins inside the cage, your referee in charge will be Brian Tyler. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a freestyle fighter standing six feet one inches tall. He weighed in at 169.6 pounds. Coming to you from Ultimate Fitness in Sacramento, California, please welcome Isaac Kiyokata. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is a jiu-jitsu fighter standing five feet 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 172.8 pounds. Coming to you from Modesto Power, please welcome Isaac, the War Chief Martinez. Hello and welcome everybody. It's Nick and Dennis from Sweet Decision. Joined alongside Don, we're at the first fight of 209 Beatdown 7. We got Isaac Martinez versus Isaac Kyoto. Touch the gloves and we're off. This fight is at 170 welterweight. Isaac lines a left high kicking it. Both fighters really trying to establish the, the pace right now. You know, I want to thank you guys for having me on your podcast. Uh, I'm a huge fan. Uh, once again, I'm Don Denoy, the ring announcer here, and they're inviting me on. You know, the one thing that I, I really love about the debuters, especially like the independent fighters, is they've really got nothing to prove to any school or any team. They just have something to prove to themselves, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I, I don't have any expectations of either fighter. I don't know what to, to expect. I don't know what their journey's been in the gym, but uh, it's, it's good for them to come out and display it. Martinez is coming out real aggressive. Kiyokata hit him with a nice knee to the midsection, though, kind of testing his, uh, his training there. Looks like they're in uh, kind of like a half guard, depending if he's going to slide over and take his back, or he gives up mount. We got Kyoto on top. Isaac pushing on the hips, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Yeah, these situations, you can really tell when they're kind of green as fighters coming in because they're still trying to figure it out, you know? Yeah, absolutely. They uh, they try one counter and it doesn't work and it seems like they're stuck, whereas, you know, the, pro the veterans know one, two, three different techniques to get out of it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and most of the veterans, they wouldn't have let themselves get in this position. But, you know, that's why these guys are here as amateurs to try to figure it out. Ten seconds left. Isaac... Doing some ground and pound, but I believe this is going to go to the second round. Yeah, Brian Tyler's a pretty seasoned referee. You know, he's not not a new guy coming in because you know they're, they're trying to figure it out too. But he, he lets it kind of go on, and these fighters try to figure it out on their own without suffering too much punishment. Right, and then with, with the two minute rounds, I mean, it, it you really got to do something quick. You can't just uh, wait around. It's really hard for them to unpack, I think, for these amateurs. It's hard for them to unpack everything that they've been taught. You know what I mean? What, what am I going to use? I've been taught so much. What, what am I going to use this time, this time around? I think that, that leads to a lot of indecision on their part because they've been taught so much and they get into a position and it's like, what, what thing do I use here? Well, you know what? Mike Tyson said it himself, right? Everybody has a game plan until they get hit in the face. You know, and that's what these guys, you know, they, they train, they get ready to go. They come out here in front of the, all these fans and, you know, commentators and everything, and it comes so real, right? And then they get hit, and it's like, okay, now, now it's time to fight. <laughs> Throw them straight. Them there we go. Round two about to start. Martinez is obviously down in this fight, right, guys? Right, yeah. Oh, a big takedown. Lands right into side control. Martinez trying to regain half half guard. Yeah, he, he looks like he's he locked it in. But last round, he really was just trying to push or hold him down. He wasn't trying to uh, sweep or anything. Transitioning to a, possibly a hill hook. Isaac doing the right thing, putting all his weight down on it. 
That's what I love about this fight. You could say Isaac's doing the right thing and not be wrong. Absolutely. He's <laughs> definitely. I think it's safe to say that both these fighters are warmed up and ready to go, right? Right, right. And it's a, it's a good fight to start on. I mean, it's there's a lot of activity. You don't have, you know, people just feeling each other out. These guys got it. They just got in there and got it on. It's hard to gauge with these guys what they're going to do when they come out. So I'm, it's hard to have any expectation, really. And you see the wheels spinning now because Kiyokota's going for that same technique that he ended the first round with. Yeah, he's threatening the... Uh, uh, there he goes with the opening up with the ground and pound. Of course, in Cambo, oh. he not allow him. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. You can see him. Martinez is just exhausted. Yeah, we can see the ref call it. Yeah, Brian's looking close. Yeah. Is he going to give up? They start to get that look of concern. Yeah, he's, he's going to stop in about five seconds here. Oh. Oh, might get saved by the bell. Here we go. Once you hear the click sticks. I don't know. I probably wouldn't have let that one go. I probably would have stopped it myself. You know me. <laughs> I'm Drago. <laughs> if he dies, he dies. <laughs> well, you know, at the beginning of that second round, uh, Kyokota came out with that nice little, like a little hip toss or whatever he was doing. And you can see uh, Rikishi over there, the, the WWE <laughs> superstar, he jumped up. So that was kind of something that excited him. So. <laughs> yeah, so in the house, we got Rikishi, WWF Hall of Famer. He's here with his two boys, or superstars in their own right in the WWE. Um, his brother's here. You know, the whole family's here, and I think between all of them, they, they weigh about 2,500 pounds. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. They're just huge, huge guys, and love them. Very talented guys. Big bones. Yes, very big. <laughs> I've never seen a fat skeleton, though. Same. <laughs> here we are, round three. Two and I beat down seven, the first fight of the night. January 19th at Stockton, California. So Martinez needs a knockout. Yeah, he needs a finish for, for sure, in, in my opinion. Starts off with the front kick to the chest. Or as an amateur, if you can just survive all three, does that look good on you too? I, you know, I'm, I'm not sure that I've seen, I, I've seen a lot of these guys survive, but I don't know. It, it, like you said, with that ground and pound and what they're going through, sometimes it's more of a deterrent to even go to it, uh, you know, have another fight. Right. It looks like Martinez knows he has to finish. He's trying to bait him in with his hands down low. Yeah, you can tell he's loading up, right? Right, yeah. But then Kyoto just, you know, pushes the action, trying to get close, bring it back to the ground. And that big knee, that's the second one he's lent. Yep, it's all over. Yeah, there it is. Kyoto's by TKO, beginning the third round. And I think that was one of those moments where Martinez just said, I think if I just kind of play forward, I know the referee's going to bail me out. You know, he just, he's, just, he's exhausted. He just kind of spent everything. Not, not to take anything away from him, but Kiyokota, I think, was just That's too, right. too much. That's right. My boy listens. Don't to listen well. Learn much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give these two fighters one more round of applause. This bout comes to an end at round number three at 45 second. Your referee in charge, Brian Tyler, calls a halt to this bout. He is your winner by TKO victory, Isaac Kiyokota.